it's Christina at Gert the Farmington Libraries. For today's adult maker activity, we will be making a pumpkin candle holder. So you can get your kit. For those of you following along at home, you will need the following materials, a wine goblet, a green and orange enamel paint, artificial leaves, a hot glue gun and glue, twine and or jute, let an LED or a wax tea candle, and you will need to have access to an oven. So go ahead and get your materials and let's get started. Ready to get started on our pumpkin candle holder. So now you can see that I have this goblet. It's more of a water goblet style. It, um, I got this at Dollar Tree and it's actually very thick and substantial. So I chose the goblet because I thought it had a nice rounded pumpkin like shape. You can also choose a traditional wine glass, that's fine. Pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes, so that makes a lot of sense too. This is the paint that we are using. It's enamel paint, and you can see on top, it even tells you this is used for painting glass. This is not food safe. So we are using this for purely decorative reasons. We are, you cannot drink or eat out of this, just, just a reminder. So the way that this enamel paint works, it's um, not the same as a traditional acrylic. It's a little more expensive, but we will paint this and then we will bake it. We will bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees and then you let it cool in the oven before you remove it. If you do not wanna bake it, you can air dry it for 21 days. Then it will be cured, which means you can wash it without the paint coming off. Okay, so we are gonna get started. We're going to paint the round part of the goblet with our orange enamel paint. I think a sponge brush is the best for giving it that nice coverage. Just trying to get the lines to go all the way down and in the same order. And then I also like to coat the inside just so that it's a little bit more opaque. so pretty already. Just trying to smooth it out. Oh my gosh, I think that is so pretty already. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush and then we will start using the green. So now we're going to use our green to get the stem. This is the wine glass stem, but also the pumpkin stem. I've seen this on Pinterest from a couple of different pinners and bloggers, and I just thought this is so fun. This would be a great addition to your Thanksgiving table. You'll be able to put some candles on here, whether real 
or if you wanted to go and get LED lights if you prefer that. But we included real ones for our project. So just make sure to get underneath here. a little dimension we are going to have some green stripes going down our pumpkin so, just making sure that I'm getting everything under here and you want to get the sides too so now we're going to kind of just go in here fingers I like to or you can blend it with a little more orange okay so as soon as our object is clean is dry to the touch we are going to Heat it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. We'll let it cool in the oven and then we will remove and do the next step. So it's really important that you bake it before we do the next steps because once we add other pieces on here, we won't be able to put it in the oven and cure it. Okay, so do those steps and then we'll meet back again. Okay, we're ready for our next step. So I have my goblet, which I have put it baked in the oven. Now we are going to get some raffia or twine and we're going to glue it to the stem. So I'm just going to put a little on the tip of the stem and then I'm going to just <laughs> wind it around. Really long piece and I'm just gonna like dot it with a little glue here and there to keep it all together Now we have our three leaves, which are just so pretty. So I'm going to put them right here, kind of where the straw ends. A little and then I am going to kind of tack that down a little and I'm going to do I like to do the red and the green because I feel like it has more contrast 
to the orange pumpkin. So I'm gonna put that there. And then put that down a little. I have them overlap. And then I'm going to put the orange on top. You can do it whichever way you want. If you only want one on, you can do that. I like it this way. So I'm just gonna put this one right here. Careful, it is hot. So I just wanna hold it down until it dries. And then I'm going to glue this onto the leaf below it. You can see why we wanted to cure our paint before we started with the hot glue and stuff. Okay, so here we go. We are all set. We have our little light. I have a, I have an LED tea light. We included some natural um, wax candles too, so it's whatever you like. I think this would look so great on your Thanksgiving table. I hope you enjoyed this activity and please share your finished project and your name with us at flrefarmingtonlibraries.org. We would love to share it to social media, all of the fun things that we're doing together as a community. And if you have any questions, you can also email us. Stay tuned for our next upcoming maker programs.